Hello, my name is Stephanie Smith. Thank you for watching my presentation. My presentation is based on a community health center called Hoover Family Medicine. She is a primary care physician, but apart from those services, she provides community service to the youth and young adults to help maintain a healthy weight. After reviewing the Miami-Dade Community Health Improvement Plan and the community health needs Hoover Family Medicine provides, I have come to the conclusion that their priority goal is to work with the community to promote healthiest weight. Their goal is to increase the percent of children and adults in the community who are at their healthiest weight. And their second goal is to increase access to nutritious and affordable meals. The mission of Hoover Family Medicine is to provide services offered, created for families to spend minimum time on maximum efficiency, apart from the overall health care provided throughout their patient's lifespan. Hoover Family Medicine provides their community with the necessary health needs to guide and aid the youth and adults of South Florida towards healthy weight limits and guidance on healthy habits and healthy eating. The goal of Hoover Family Medicine is to provide free health care services to qualified members of the community to end child obesity and decrease the amount of obese adults to decrease further health complications amongst their lifespan. Its vision is to see all youth maintain a healthy weight and a healthy lifestyle throughout their youth into their adult life. The tools I used to conduct my community assessment were the windshield survey and a community assessment tool. Miami-Dade County had a slightly lower percentage of obese adults, about 24% than that of the statewide rate of 26.4% in 2013, according to the Florida Department of Health. But middle and high school students had a higher rate, about 14.6% obesity, compared to a statewide rate of 12.4% in 2014. During this assessment, I completed two interviews with um, different people among the community. One was a healthcare provider, which was a certified ARNP, and the second was an obese child along with her obese parent. During this interview, the ARMP stated that one of her largest concerns, apart from obesity in the community, is um, in the Miami community is STDs, heart disease, and cancer. Some of the highlights of my community assessment um, start with my windshield survey. Miami is a dense urban city with over 2 million residents. Its largest bulk of people were Latin descent. The primary languages spoken were English, Spanish, and Creole. I did witness various religious buildings, including a Catholic church, Kingdom Hall, Christian church, and a mosque. Within two miles of my clinical agency, there were three public parks with recreational areas. There was a private hospital, more than 10 available public transportation, pickup stations, visible taxis, Uber and Lyft drivers, four private fitness centers, adequate locations providing meal services, three public schools, two private schools, no government buildings. The street appeared clean and clear of garbage. Various people were commuting by foot and using public transportation, and the streets appeared to be safe and free of immediate danger. During my community assessment with the um, with my targeted group of the overweight youth and her mother, um, this was a quote that the mother stated: "Because of how busy and expensive life is in Miami." I have had trouble providing my children with the adequate exercise needed to maintain a healthy weight because of the time I get home from work. It is also hard at times to provide daily nutritious meals as because it has been easier to grab takeout meals along with fast food to take time
to have to have less time in preparing meals and spend more time with them. Using my nursing judgment after evaluating my community health needs, I prioritize them in order promote healthy eating and healthy activities to decrease the risk of heart disease. Second is increase access to preventative care and exams to decrease risk of advanced cancer diagnosis. Third is to decrease overweight youth. And fourth is to decrease the spread of STDs. Prevention is key. Prevention strategies for decreasing heart disease is to instill education and available resources to our youth. The younger we involve the people in this community in the process of bettering and living a better life, the more inclined they will be to maintain that lifestyle throughout the rest of their lifespan. Preventative strategies to decrease diagnosis of advanced stage cancer is to promote early detection exams, preventative examinations, and regular care plan follow-ups. Preventative strategies to decrease the amount of overweight, overweight youth is by providing our youth with education on the risks associated with obesity and how poor nutritional and physical choices can affect them on the long run. Preventative measures to decrease the spread of STDs is to continue providing education about the risks associated with STDs and making items like condoms readily available in public areas. These are my recommended interventions for, prevent for preventing heart disease, decreasing diagnosis of stage cancer, decreasing obesity in our youth, and decreasing the spread of STDs. Community-based exercise programs in local parks, in schools for the youth and for young adults for free or small fee. Nutritional education workshops in schools and government buildings. Guidelines available in local grocery stores for foods to avoid and foods to increase for healthy eatier, um, healthier eating habits. Free community events providing biometric screenings, my, mammograms, PSA checks, STD checks. Free condoms available and requested in doctor's offices in schools and local government buildings and community centers. My teaching plans recommended for these community health needs include providing education to our youth in the community, increasing education in schools, promoting healthy conversations within family units, providing visual education around the community at bus stops, billboards, flyers, and television ads, and promoting healthy habits and increasing fun activities to embrace healthy activity and decrease in stress. As part of my community hours, I embrace my eagerness to educate the people in our community. Outside the facility, we set up a tent and provided free biometric screenings, BMI status and education, healthy eating, and healthy exercise habits. We provided those who visited us with flyers to a free community exercise group that partnered with us and also referred most women to a radiology center providing special offers for mammograms. We also provided complimentary flu vaccines to anyone who completed 25 push-ups. I followed up with the radiology center who stated the event was a huge success and that over 30 women had visited their facility to receive their preventative examinations. I also attended a presentation at a local high school and provided teaching to 10th through 12th graders about safe sex practice, prevention of STDs, who to seek if, success, if suspecting STDs, and provided free access to condoms and educational pamphlets. I also provided some healthy eating and healthy exercise information. After completing this seminar, several students came up to me and thanked me for stating the lack of wanting to seek help from their parents or teachers. They were risking themselves in unsafe sex practices and now feel comfortable to seek the help from the staff in their school and parents. The fear of contracting an STD, which can cause long-term effects frighten them greatly.
Thank you for taking the time to watch my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a little bit about the community in South Florida as well as this amazing community center that only strives in helping those in the community. If you have any questions, please list them below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.